Hi there, and welcome to the Fantasy Library. Um, so, uh, last night I finished uh, Guns of the Dawn by Adrian Tchaikovsky. Uh, it, is, it is a fantasy book, uh, more specifically a flintlock fantasy, uh, which I haven't read a lot of, uh, I'll admit. Uh, the general story is uh, there is a war on between uh, the countries of uh, Lascan and Danund. Uh, so the root of the conflict is that um, Denland has become a republic and Lascan is scared that uh, Denland is now going to come and tear down their own mon monarchy. Uh, first off, I found it to be a really solid book, um, an okay book. Uh, it had some good moments, uh, such as um, I enjoyed the depiction of war. Uh, you know, what soldiers do in their downtime, uh, th their bonds between each other, these soldiers. Uh, I enjoyed that the, the main character was a woman, um, a woman in an unlikely situation. Um, it, it is this uh, gentle woman and all other, uh, all other like highborn ladies sent their own uh, servants uh, when it was a draft on. Uh, except Emily. Uh, Emily went herself, so she's like the only one of the uh, noble birth. Um, so that's neat. Uh, I I did like her as a character. Uh, she was she was fun to follow. Um, okay, so my issues with this book and the reason why it only got two stars are threefold. Uh, so first of all. Uh, it took way too long to get going. So it started and it was right into the war. Uh, Emily is in the war. And then all of a sudden we take a step back and it is before the war. Uh, and it's, it's like a quarter of the book before we finally get back to the war again. And it was just unnecessary introduction to the world. Like, I think that that could have been condensed quite a bit um, and another thing is there was a love triangle that took a really large uh, space in the book and I, I think love triangles are rarely done well and in this case I just I didn't really enjoy the love triangle I I thought I thought the love interests, sure, they were cute in their own specific ways, but I just, it, I find it unnecessary to have this pull between uh, two love interests. I think you can just, uh, if you're gonna have romance, have romance, but it's just such unnecessary drama. It's not, it's not the type of drama that I am drawn to personally. So for me, eh, I, I could, Take it or leave it, I would have left it. Um, and lastly, uh, is for a fantasy book, I thought it had very few fantastical elements. Um, so really the only fantastical part was the presence of warlocks who have this kind of fire magic. And I... I just want more fantasy in my fantasy. It can be like fantastical creatures or fantastical abilities or whatever, really. I just, I want more of it. And this book didn't really deliver in that regard. Like, I thought it was cool. You know, they had these weapons and there was scientific, scientific progress. Um, but the magic was just a little lackluster for me. Um, I would have, I would have liked a little more. Uh, uh, here I am, uh, from the future a little bit, just to make a correction that uh, there are in fact fantasy creatures in Guns, uh, Guns of the Dawn, and uh, these creatures they are uh, referred to as indigents, and uh, they are shorter than uh, humans. Uh, very hairy creatures uh, with big ears and big nose and uh, 
Uh, so there are these uh, new creatures that live in the swamp that uh, Tchaikovsky has created here. Um, but they weren't very prevalent, so... I don't know. I mean, they did have some influence to the plot, but... Um, eh, they didn't, they didn't hit me in any special way, so... Uh, yeah. So there were some issues, there were some good things. Um, overall, a very okay book. That's about the gist of what I what I can what I can say about this book. Um, I'm definitely gonna read more by by the author Adrian Tchaikovsky, but I just this book was just not for me. Uh, and that's about, that's about the gist of it. And that's it for me. Uh, thank you. And